let's go to cable. OK, so um, this is one of the charts we had last night and you can see here. We came up into this resistance channel resistance uh, again. This is uh, June high um, September high. And we traded up there on the 19th, so uh, a little over a week ago. And since then we've consolidated above it, had a big upper wick last uh, at yesterday's price action and 200 day average is just above. And today we got what I would consider the trigger for a possible short here, right? Um, because we broke below this trend line. So again, ranges are small, so I'm kind of looking at really short term charts here, but I would look at this as Let's call it 3770 resistance right here. OK, and the level that I'd be targeting for support. And again, these are very short term ranges um, as that's what the market is offering right now. And I'd be looking at probably 3650 or so um, for, you know, an initial target area on a short. So again, not making any grand, uh, you know, uh, proclamations here regarding the coming moves. But 3650 possible support, uh, 3770 possible resistance, right? Too short. Um, now, another reason why this 3650 would be uh, possible support, again, with the way I look at things, right? You see the little parallel, these gray parallels. If you're new to uh, my type of analysis here, um, these are what we call uh, the 25 and 75 lines within the channel. And you can see how price went through this, right? Price reacted, it was resistance at one point, and then we traded around it and came back up to the top of the channel. So that's a level just like any horizontal support resistance level um, that the market has has traded into and reacted to. So that is why uh, that is considered a support level, right? So it's the top side of this line. So again, 37.70, 36.50, are the levels to focus on, I think, for the next day or so. Obviously, if we come up out of this, then that would be considered uh, an important behavior change and we would be, um, you know, flipping to, you know, a much more constructive stance. Something else that I want to highlight here. This is uh, these are futures charts, um, which I do and, uh, in, in, you know, I trade spot, but I do um, include this in my analysis. Uh, because of the volume, right? We have a centralized exchange in order to study the volume. And uh, these lines you see here are anchored volume weighted average price. So it's like a moving average, but it also includes volume, right? Uh, so it'd be weighted, uh, you know, more volume for, or, you know, a bar that has more volume is going to be, um, have more weight, right? Uh, for that data point and that average. All right, so the thick one is just what is just, you know, anchored from the first of the year. Uh, very objective, right? Kind of above bullish, below bearish, tends to act as support resistance at times. In fact, you can see back here uh, in September, it was resistance and we've just been trading under as well. So again, you've got the 200 day average just above there along with that 2021 VWAP. And also we have VWAP anchored from the price high, which was in June. So we do have a lot above uh, the market here um, to, you know, suggest resistance um, or that we're trading into and against. So, yeah, you know, I like the try, I like the short side right now. With again, that 3770 resistance or so. All right. 